So it's time for a graphic novel update, or a comic book update, because I'm not too keen on calling them graphic novels for comic books. The first of which is a, a book that I've, um, it's the latest in a ser an ongoing series I've been reading and a big, big fan of, wearing the t-shirt now, it's The Walking Dead, and it's the latest volume, which is volume 14, No Way Out. The Walking Dead is a fantastic series of comic books. It's actually just been adapted into a TV series, as most of you probably know, by Frank Darabont. The pilot episode of which was brilliant, the rest of the series series was rubbish. I was actually thinking about doing a big series of videos on The Walking Dead, all the books, the TV show, everything. Hated the TV show. Um, we'll probably talk about that in another video somewhere down the line. The books remain consistently brilliant, so I picked up No Way Out because I need to know where this story is going. Uh, it's, it's brilliant. I love The Walking Dead. Anybody watching this interested in getting into graphic novels, The Walking Dead would be a good place to start. Also picked up a couple of... Um, uh, books by um, Mark Miller and they're the Ultimates volumes 1 and 2 now oh, I'm going the wrong way there uh, basically it's uh, the Avengers as told by Mark Miller so they're kind of a, a modern take on the Avengers and it features the Samuel Jackson inspired design of Nick Fury the Ultimates um, is okay. I mean, I've only um, kind of skimmed through it up to now, and it, it seems really good. And I know that my friend Danny, who is a big fan of The Ultimates, says that he thinks the Avengers movie that's coming out, the Joss Whedon movie, is going to be based at, at least some part on these books. So they are um, quite a good read, and I really do like the artwork in them. I'll just flick to a, hopefully a spoiler-free page. Um, the artwork is, is pretty good. Um, so yeah, that, that's the Ultimates. Also, after seeing this, uh, the movie adaptation of this book that came out this year, I picked up four. Now, I didn't know where to start with four, so I started reading up on it, and I thought a good enough place to jump on will be The Run by J. Michael Straczynski. This is a guy whose books I, I really enjoy. I, I really liked his run on Spider-Man, and I like the, um, the, some of the scripts he's done. The Changeling, the Clint Eastwood movie with Angelina Jolie, J. Michael Straczynski actually wrote it. Really loved that movie. So I thought I'd pick up his run on four and see what that's like. So I picked that up. Also picked up a, a couple of um, Green Arrow books. I picked up Year One by um, Andy Diggle and Jock, the guy who did the guys who did the Losers, which I'm going to get onto in a minute. Uh, this is like the uh, retelling of the Green Arrow's origins, um, from what I can gather. I haven't read it yet because I haven't had time. I actually haven't read um, any of these that I'm actually showing because. Um, I'm actually in the middle of reading Neil Gaiman's Sandman series, which I'm going to do a series of videos on as well. But the picked up the Green Arrow Year One, and also the Green Arrow Quiver by um, Kevin Smith. I will read anything Kevin Smith's written. I really enjoyed Guardian Devil is one of my favourite comic books ever. The, his run on Daredevil. I really enjoyed his run on Batman with Cacophony and the Widening Guy, and I think he's doing a third part to that trilogy. So Quiver I picked up pretty much. I, I know it's written by Kevin Smith, so I'm not. I'm at least going to like some of it. There's got to be something there to like. Kevin Smith hasn't disappointed me yet with his comic books, so I picked up his version of the Green Arrow. Also picked up. Uh, the Losers books one and two, actually signed by Andy Diggle and Jock. Um, signature is um, oh God, I can't position my hand um, up here on this one. I don't know if you can see very well in here. And then Jock has signed. Where's Jock signed? There's um, Jock's signature. They didn't cost any extra to get them signed there as well. Uh, the Losers, the film I absolutely love. It's um, one of my favourite action movies of recent years. It's very fun, the characters are very likeable, the chemistry between the actors is very good. Um, they're all very charismatic, so I thought I'd pick up the book that it's based on. The book's a, a bit, from what I can gather, harder-edged, more swearing, more violence, but I would. Um, it looks really good, so I, I am very excited to get into The Losers. Then I have picked up a, a big run um, of hardbacks for a series that I've wanted to read for ages, uh, and that is um, Brian K. Vaughan's Why the Last Man. Now this is basically his series about all the uh, um, living creatures on the planet with a Y chromosome, all the males actually die. There's only one guy left with his pet monkey, and he has to try and figure out why he's alive in this in this like female-led future. Apparently it does um, kind of deal with the male fantasy side of it about being the last man alive and up to him to repopulate the earth. 
but it's it kind of it addresses that and moves past that and becomes a really good sci-fi story. So I picked up book one, book two, book three, book four, book five. These are all hardbacks. The um, the artwork's good in them. I, I do like the artwork. They've also got like a manga edge to them. And together, God the heavy, <laughs> they look like that. And I picked these up because he started going out in um, going out of print in England. So I went online to Amazon.com and ordered these from America while I could, and uh, used a bit of um, extra money I, I had from work to to pay for these. Oh God, that's heavy. <laughs> so that's uh, why the last man and the final book I got, as you can probably see already, is Joss Whedon's entire run on X Men. That's the Astonishing X Men. X Men's. I've always been a fan of X Men, but I've never really read them religiously. And my friend Danny has. Now he swears by X Men. He's really into Grant Morrison's run on X Men. But I thought if I'm going to jump jump into X Men, where should I start? And apparently, Astonishing X Men, even though it is part of the canon and, and the continuity of the series so far, Joss Whedon also kind of used it as a semi reboot. Um, so it is a jumping on point for people wanting to read the X Men. It's a very big, very thick, heavy book. I mean, I've literally had this on my wish list on Amazon for months. And it, it came down to about £31, and I should have bought it then, but then it jumped up to like 55 Anyway, I've been waiting for months for it to come down. It came down to 40 so I thought, bollocks, I'll compromise and buy it at 40 So I picked up Astonishing X-Men and can't wait to read it. The artwork in this is fairly awesome as well. Um, I mean, oof, it's quite a heavy book as well. Just looking here. Um, it, it looks amazing, and to be honest, what prompted me to get this was um, X-Men first, uh, first Class for film being so good, and I thought, yeah, I'd really like to give the comics a chance. See on the back here, you've got all the covers of Joss Whedon's run, and I love Joss Whedon. I love Buffy, I love Angel, Firefly, Serenity, uh, Toy Story, everything Joss Whedon's done, I, I really enjoy, so I'm looking forward to reading his take on what is one of my favourite superhero franchises, the X-Men. So thanks very much for watching this video, thanks to um, everybody who rates, comments and subscribes. Please subscribe if you haven't already, um, it really helped me out and I really do appreciate it, so thanks a lot guys.